you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here with me once again today for those of you who are new my name is Kira Selena also known as Nurse Key and on my channel I talk about nursing feminine health beauty lifestyle and finance so by the end of this video you like what you see and you would like to see more content like this don't forget to join the family by subscribing as well as turning on your notification bells that will be notified whenever I post future content if ever you guys have any questions or if you guys want to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with me, the best way to reach me is through Instagram. So I'm going to leave my Instagram handle right down here. I'll also leave the direct link in the pinned comment so that you guys can click on that. Go follow me on there and you guys can stay in touch with me on there. I'll be sure to make sure I answer your messages as soon as possible. All right, so as mentioned in the title, today's video is going to be talking all about The Ordinary. And I know you guys have all heard about The Ordinary. This product line literally just came about and just blew up up all over social media all over TikTok, all over youtube everywhere and so obviously i got a little bit curious and i wanted to try it out for myself all right so i've been using these products for about a month now and the reason why i didn't mention that to you guys is because i wanted to make sure that i use it for a long enough time to be able to actually sit on here and give you guys an honest review i didn't want to give a review just after first use because i felt like that wouldn't be fair to you guys because it wouldn't be a fair review or, or or an accurate review and it wouldn't be fair on the company as well so I've been using these for about a month now and I wanted to come and introduce to you guys the main three products that I have been using. I wanted to talk about the uses of each product. I wanted to show you guys the way that I layer it so you guys are going to be seeing how I use the product on myself and how I layer it. And then I'm gonna give you guys a review on how my skin has been doing ever since I've been using this product. And lastly, we're gonna finish off with the pros and the cons. I don't wanna make this video too long, so let's just get right in. So the first product I've been using is the Caffeine 5% Solution Plus EG. ECG. Um, to be completely honest, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know what ECGC is, okay? I literally do not. However, I do know what the benefits of caffeine are. The, what this caffeine is supposed to do is it's supposed to help reduce the appearance of puffiness and dark circles underneath the eyes. Now, nursing has literally been killing me. I have not really been sleeping as well as I should be, and I have started noticing some dark circles underneath my eyes, and I wanted to get that in check ASAP. So I've tried this product and honestly, I have been absolutely loving it. Um, it definitely has helped me with the appearance of my dark under eyes, but I'm not, I'm not going to give the product 100% credit because I have been trying to discipline myself to make sure that I get sufficient sleep every single night. So I feel like sleep um, as well as this product has definitely helped me um, reduce the appearance of the dark circles underneath my eyes. And I love this product. I love the ingredients in this product and it does give you this nice refresh refreshing tingling feeling underneath your eyes when you do use it. I use it at night as well as in the morning. You can use it as frequently as you want. If you want to use it once a day, then you go ahead and do that. If you want to use it twice a day, then you could go ahead and do that as well, but avoid overusing it. So don't reapply this product every single hour or whatever, but once in the morning, um, in the morning before applying your makeup and all your other products, and once at night before going to bed should be sufficient. So the next product I've been using is this hyaluronic acid, which I have been loving. For those of you who don't know, hyaluronic acid is actually a fluid that is found in our skin. It's found in tissues or joints as well. And it's basically just supposed to help you with moisture, right? So this is perfect for the winter seasons if you guys tend to get a little bit drier. Because once again, this is something that um, our body naturally produces. It is something that is found in our skin naturally. And this is basically supposed to help you hydrate your skin. This is also really good for healing. So whenever you have a cut, a bruise, a bru a scab or anything like that on your face or anywhere on your skin the hyaluronic acid levels in your skin actually go up in order to help you heal that wound so if you have a scratch a scar or maybe you popped a pimple and now you have some type of bruise or anything this is perfect for healing and it'll also make your skin just look nice and hydrated because once again this is something that our skin naturally produces to keep our skin nice and hydrated alongside sebum so this is what it looks like. It's really nice. It's a nice oil. When you put it on at first, it feels sticky, um, but that stickiness goes away. If you do feel like the product is still sticky after minutes, it probably means that you put a little bit too much. Um, with these products, a little bit goes a long way. So I have had this for a month and look at how much I use. Like the bottle is literally still full because I am not using a lot. Two drops and that is all I need. Um, so a little bit goes a long way. This has really 
definitely improved the appearance of my skin i definitely can see that my skin is a lot more hydrated i'm a lot more glowy um than i used to be before i would really have to go in with extremely thick moisturizers to feel um to feel hydrated and a lot of the times um because of certain soaps that I was using on my face, sometimes I would get this kind of strippy feeling where I would start to feel like my skin is a little bit dry, especially around the nose area. But ever since using this product, I have not had an issue with that. So I have been absolutely loving, loving this. The last product that I've been using is this 100% cold press organic rosehip seed oil. And this is supposed to just overall help support your skin and just help with its overall health. Now I've been using it kind of the same concept you would for those of you who have natural hair so you know you apply all your moisturizers your creams and everything and then you seal it in with an oil because oil is a natural sealant so it locks in moisture or it locks in with whatever it is that you're locking in which is why I suggest not applying this onto dry skin because if your skin is just dry and not hydrated and you apply an oil it's just going to lock in that dryness and make your skin even drier so I apply all my serums all my my um, products and stuff I use my moisturizer and then I go in with the oil last to lock in the moisture from all the products that I apply before applying the oil and that just helps with your skin's health and it makes your skin look a lot glowier a lot healthier and it helps with your skin's elasticity so now let's get into how I use these products and how I layer them. Starting off with the caffeine solution. Now the caffeine solution is the first thing that I use and I only apply this underneath my eyes. I do not apply it anywhere else. Um, I don't have puffiness or darkness anywhere else and this is supposed to help with dark circles. So I use it for what it is made for, right? So I just take about one drop of that and I massage it underneath my eyes. Now these products tend to feel sticky for a little while, for a few minutes so I highly suggest allowing that product to properly seep in and dry into your skin before applying other products. The next product that I use is hyal the hyaluronic acid and once again this is supposed to help you with hydration. Now this is not necessarily the same thing as the rosehip oil like I told you guys the rosehip oil is supposed to help lock in moisture whereas the hyaluronic acid is more to help add moisture to your skin. So I just use about two or three drops maximum and then I really rub it into my hands and warm it up with my hands and then I go ahead and pat it on my skin and the reason why you want to pat it as opposed to rubbing it is because um and I actually tried this there was a girl that I was watching on YouTube I'll probably leave a thumbnail to one of her videos here so that you guys can go check her out she is a real user of the ordinary product apparently she's been using this for years and I think she's a cosmetician or something like that so she's really familiar with how it works and she said that if you rub it in you can have an effect called pilling which will make your skin look as though it's peeling or as though it's extremely dry but it's not actually dry it's just the product and I tried this to see if it was actually true and it is true so instead of rubbing the product in make sure that you pat the product into your skin and then you would do the same thing as the previous product just allow that to dry and really soak into your skin for about two three minutes before applying the next product now the next product that I use is my facial moisturizer. You guys know that I use the Pond's moisturizer. This is so hydrating and I use this all year long. I know that this is a very thick and a very um, oily type of product. So a lot of people don't really like using it in the hotter seasons when you're sweating and all of that. But I just make sure that in the summer, if I'm gonna use the product, I use a little bit less. I just tap onto it and I apply it onto my face, rub it in and I'm fine. This product works really well for me. It just makes my skin glow it makes my skin look very healthy and it makes my skin feel very very hydrated and yes even though um we sweat a lot more in the summertime if i am not well hydrated internally and, and if i'm not using a good moisturizing lotion despite the fact that i am sweating i still get that very tight and very just painful uncomfortable feeling on my face if my face isn't well hydrated despite the fact that i'm sweating so i still make sure that i use something that's very hydrating in the summertime and after using this and allowing it to seep into my skin then I go in with a product that has SPF once I'm done using my moisturizer I can then go in with the rosehip oil that I spoke to you guys about I just apply about two drops of that and I really rub that into my skin and then you can see that your skin looks so glowy so healthy and it just looks damn good okay your skin just looks real good and real healthy afterwards and your skin feels so nice and moisturized and just so supple and just Oh, delicious. 
So my overall experience with The Ordinary has been great. I can say that ever since I've been using The Ordinary, I have not really been breaking out as much. I do still get blemishes here and there because I do wear makeup and sometimes, you know, my hormones are out of whack, so I, I break out. Um, although the products that I have been using aren't necessarily for breakouts, it has just helped me with the overall health of my skin. So I wouldn't say that my acne has stopped or that my blemishes have stopped because I've been using The Ordinary, but because it has just been helping me with the overall health of my skin I haven't really been breaking out that much you guys have seen that I am struggling with some scars I'm going to wait a little bit longer to see if these products help with that I am using specific products to help me with my hyperpigmentation um, and my scarring but I will come back and maybe a little bit later do a video on whether or not this helps me with my hyperpigmentation when it comes to the pros and the cons, um, there are a lot of pros. Honestly, like I said, I overall like the product. There's not really much I have to say or many bad things that I have to say, at least about the three products that I have that I've been using. However, the only thing I will say that I don't really like about this company is um, when you go on Sephora or when you go online and you're shopping for these products, um, the name of the product can be very, very intimidating to people who are not familiar with, you know, these um, complicated, names that you can't really pronounce, you know, um, to somebody who's not really familiar with the cosmetic world or who doesn't really know much about skin, lactic acid or retinol doesn't really say much. Now on the boxes itself, it tells you what each product is used for. However, once again, if you go online and you see lactic acid 5% plus EC, ECGC, nobody knows what that is. Even me as a nurse, I don't even know what EGCG stands for. I should probably research that. Or hyaluronic acid 2%, I know what that is because I know that our body naturally produces it plus b5 but other people may not know what that is so that's the only downside I, I would have to say but the good thing that comes with that is that it pushes you to go and do research and by doing research you can kind of get to know what each thing is and then you can make a selection that's really tailored to you and your needs and your skin a lot of the times people come online they listen to what youtubers say and they just go ahead and buy whatever products that youtubers tell them to buy and then they end up getting results that they did not want to get. However, with these products, since you are kind of forced to go and do some research about it yourself, then you can pick the products that really match up with you and once again, your needs and your skin. All right, so that's pretty much it for my review of The Ordinary Company. Uh, my experience has been great. There are definitely some other products that I want to try. I'm going to try them out and maybe I'm going to do a review on that a little bit later. But if there are any other products, it doesn't even have to be The Ordinary. If there are any ordinary products that you guys want me to review or any other products leave the suggestions down below thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video don't forget to let me know in the comments as well as like and share this video with anybody that you know who may be thinking about getting the ordinary or anybody who would find this information beneficial for those of you who are new to the channel if you guys like this content and would like to see more videos like this for me in the future don't forget to join the family by subscribing as well as turning on your notification bell that way you'll be notified when i make future content and i really hope to see you all in my next one thank you guys so much for watching Bye.